Two for ten. Here is that blitz. Finley stepping up, and down he goes. He can't get anywhere with it. The blitz. Eight punts. It's going to take a big roll and smartly picked up there because if Takanaka doesn't pick that up, that thing's going to roll another stout Boise defense. He'll throw and closing in very quickly on the under some pressure, gets the pass off, but a very quick hit on Hine. He was slowed down that time by Hine on the ground. He'll get a first down and plenty more. Hine and a touchdown saving tackle. Senior from Santa Clara, Utah. Play action fake to him. Mangum will throw it. Out and caught by Matthews at around the 30, maybe the 31. Three timeouts remaining. I don't know if that's a broken it play is. or not, but it's a loss back. Little pressure again. He's going to flip it down toward the end zone, and it is intercepted out of bounds. Incomplete. Pressure from behind. Mangum flips it into the end zone. We've seen this before. Touchdown, BYU! For a touchdown, though, to win this thing. Now they will. Bad extra point. Yep, now they will. This kid is something special. Now, hang on a second. Because this isn't over. Boise. They rush three. Finley. Intercepted by Kai Nakua. His second pick of the night. And BYU is going to hang on. Nakua could house this thing. He does. Touchdown, BYU. Look Against an AP team, AP ranked team, the last time was 2010. He looked like the cougar that ate the canary right well, there. He, he could probably smile. Uh, it's okay now. Bronco, his goal is to make for a touchdown just to cap it off to blow it to 35 24. Finley's going to toe deep down the field and almost a spectacular catch. Two passes. Nakua, you mentioned three interceptions. That ties the school record. That'll do it, most likely. Be the last play of the game and an unbelievable emotional night for BYU. They continue to surf that wave of emotion to a 2-0 start and perhaps a ranking in the AP Top 25 next week. They deserve it. I don't know how you're going to keep them out. For Brian Harson at Boise State, that's a tough loss. They had control of this game for a while. The great news is we're volunteering to call the, the rest of those games they played through 2023 and standing by on the field.